In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the NC options in CAM 350. Uh, obviously, a drill can be loaded into CAM 350 uh, in a standard Exelon uh, format, um, and of course, we can export that. But a fabricator also works with mill files, the actual uh, routing or milling out of the board. So in order to do that in CAM 350, we go to Tools, NC Editor. You'll notice that some of the GUI changes when we're in the NC Editor. You'll notice some of the commands over here on the left are appropriate to the NC Editor. Uh, we've got a border layer on this design, and that's usually best to work with when you're trying to create a route or a mill program. So we'll use a utility called Gerber to Mill. And it'll take this Gerber layer here and create a mill program from that. So we're just going to have it uh, create a new layer and a new tool table for now. And we'll just click OK. And it goes ahead and creates our mill layer. Now, we're going to change the size of the mill to be more of a standard mill size. So that would be more like 100 mils. Click OK. And obviously we do not cut at center line because we're doing a milling process. So we'll use compensation, right compensation, so we mill on the outside of that line. Now one thing you might notice is that uh, the mill does not go into these areas here. Well, it caught the fact that we're using a 100 mil route or mill program, and these are less than 100 mils in width. So what we might do now is either add a second mill that goes into those areas or just change the size of the mill program to 62 mils. And we'll just have it uh, redo it here. We'll go none and then right again. And now you can see that it actually goes into those areas for us. Okay, so we've actually created a mill program. We could just export this now if this is uh, all we're looking to do, but I want to show you some more options in the NC Editor as well. One of the other things that we have is the ability to uh, add mill tabs. Okay, You can create mill tabs, define the tab. Uh, there's different types of tabs that you can create, uh, the most common one being the perforated break. You can set the size, the number of perforation, spacing, offset. You can have these drill perforations actually go into the design if you want to by adding a negative number here. Once we've created our mill tab, we can then add those through Add Mill Tab. And basically, we just pick where we want to add it, and it goes ahead and adds it in that area. Okay, as you can see, we can add several of these here. So that's one of the other options in the NC Editor. It is a full-blown NC Editor, so there's many options as far as editing and adding items in here. Once we're done, it's just as simple as exporting a drill or mill data. Basically pick where we want, the format that we want to output it in. We can add header information, and then just simply write it out. And that's a basic introduction to the NC editor in CAM 350.